Hey everybody, welcome back to this foundation section. We are going over an introduction to HTML and CSS. Um, yeah, so here it is. It's time to actually start making things. This section will teach you the basics of HTML and CSS and the two foundational building blocks of pretty much everything on the web. So the lesson overview, we get a basic overview of HTML and CSS and how they work. HTML and CSS are two languages that work together to create everything that you see when you look at something on the internet. HTML is the raw data on a web page is built out of it. All the links, text, links, cards, lists, and buttons have, are created in HTML. CSS is what adds style to those plain elements. HTML puts information on the page, and CSS positions that information, gives it color, changes the font, and makes it look great. Many great resources out there keep referring to HTML and CSS as programming language, but if you want to get technical, labeling and such is not quite accurate because they are only concerned with pressing presenting information. They are not used to program any logic. JavaScript, which you will be learning in this section, is a programming language because it used to make the web pages do things. It is used to make the web pages do things. Yet there is quite a lot you can do with just HTML and CSS, and you will definitely need them both. The following lesson focuses, uh, lessons focus on giving you the tools you need to be successful once you get to the JavaScript content as you continue through our curriculum. So it has an assignment here where we're going to read this. It's a quick overview of the relationship between HTML and CSS. And then there's two separate um, additional information, and then we'll do our knowledge check. Okay, cool. So this article looks like a great manageable one, so we'll just read through it now. Hmm. HTML is content and layout. It's a language that determines how documents and web pages are displayed in a web browser. The language of the building blocks of any site. CSS is the look and feel. <clears throat> this stands for Cascading Style Sheet. It's a popular style sheet language that determines how a document created in HTML is styled. Colors, fonts, layouts, and responsive features. So responsive features means how they respond to different screen sizes. So your website will look different on a mobile device as it does on a computer like this. JavaScript, interactive element. JavaScript allows you to change CSS and HTML elements on your website after a site has been loaded, which gives you the ability to make your site more interactive and engaging for users. These three programming languages are typically the foundation of any website, which is why it's important that you're aware of how these languages will affect your website and what they're used for. So here we've got this um, graphic, just seems to say the same thing as above. So. Uh, what can you do with each programming language? With HTML, you will be able to create the structure of your website. CSS gives you the ability to make the website look more visually appealing. And as for JavaScript, this is a robust programming language that allows you to effectively change the HTML and CSS components of your website to match your specifications precisely. Uh, if you own a website but don't know much about coding, knowing the difference between these three programming languages should help you better understand what goes into developing a website. If ever a problem occurs with a component on your site, having a clear idea of what these programming languages are may be enough to help you properly diagnose what is causing the problem and how to fix it. So the following article provides in-depth comparison of HTML, CSS, Java, and JavaScript programming languages. Web development and coding languages. Websites can be developed with the use of a wide range of differing uh, coding and programming languages, much of which are complex more complex than others. Some of the most common web development languages include HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Python, Ruby, and SQL. While Ruby and PHP are exceedingly popular among entrepreneurs, startups, and web developers, the primary language of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript should be enough for you to understand the basics of web design and development. Each of these development languages has a different purpose. For instance, Ruby is a scalable and fast programming language that can help you build extensive website or program in just a short period of time. When paired with Ruby on Rails framework, this give, language gives developers practically everything they need to build a website. With a language like SQL, developers can maintain and optimize large databases in a much more streamlined manner. Different types of projects incorporate different languages of code. Many professional web developers have, been, have, their, have their own preferences that they will use even if other programming languages have proven to be more popular. Various platforms are built on different languages. For instance, WordPress is built mainly with powerful PHP code even though HTML and CSS are used as well. And WordPress is moving over towards JavaScript, so that's just a side note. Okay, the main language you 
uh, use all depends on the specific pro project and the business goals that you have. By identifying what those goals are, you should be a better idea of which languages are ideal when you are developing a website or application. So it says, what is HTML? HTML is a programming language that stands for Hypertext Markup Language. This is a relatively simplistic yet powerful programming language that allows web developers and website owners to create and structure, create the structure of their websites. If you want a sentence in a blog post to receive a bold font, HTML could be used to achieve this. When using this system, any text files can be tagged for effects, graphics, fonts, or colors. If you've never used any kind of programming language in the past, HTML would be a great place to start. Keep in mind that HTML markups are enhanced by CSS and JavaScript, which is why it's recommended that you learn this programming language first. What can you do with HTML? The main reason why it's important to know HTML is because it allows you, as a website owner, to create and create the basic structure of your website, from which you can use any other coding language to enhance the design. With a basic understanding of HTML, you can significantly increase the control and flexibility that you have of your website. You'll be able to make your own changes by having knowledge of this code. Uh, some platforms will automatically implement many of the complex functions of a website design, which leaves you with the ability to tend to the minor changes that can be made with HTML. What is CSS? CSS is a cascading style sheet. Uh, it is a language that's focused almost entirely on improving the presentation of HTML. While CSS is a static programming language, it can be used to make your website appear visually pleasing or modern. If you want your website to have a sleek, stylish design, CSS is the programming language to use. With this basic understanding of CSS, you can make changes to the overall look and feel of your website, which is useful when you want to match the appearance of your website with the aesthetics of your brand. Uh, what can you do with CSS? Even though CSS primar is primarily used to create static visual effects, the latest version of the programming language offers some functionality for the creation of very simple animations. If you want to change the color of some of the text on your web page, basic CSS will allow you to do so by adding style code to the HTML code that's already found on your page. Along with the presentation of HTML, CSS can also be used to alter the layout and formatting of your website. Once you know the basics of CSS, you should be capable of improving the look of your website and all of the HTML that you have already added to the design. Okay, what is JavaScript? JavaScript is among the most important programming languages for website owners who want to make their site more interactive, which makes the most complex of the three standard programming languages in this article. While HTML provides the structure for a website and CSS allows you to control the presentation of the site, the JavaScript programming language gives you the tools that you need to alter the behavior of different elements that are found on the website page. Uh, with this tool, you can add a layer of interactivity to the HTML and CSS elements on your website, which is highly recommended if you want your website to appeal to the modern customer. Most modern websites come with a menu bar, uh, menu button that can be clicked to display a selection of areas of the website that you can navigate to. This menu bar usually reveals a small menu on the side of the page, which adds interactivity to the page itself. All of this is powered by JavaScript and can make your website appear to be more modern and sophisticated. With a basic understanding of JavaScript, you can manipulate the various interactive features of your website to perform a wide range of actions. If you want to have complete control over the design and function of your website, you should know at least some coding involved in JavaScript. What can you do with JavaScript? The types of things you can do with JavaScript are practically limitless. This programming language can provide you with tools needed to create a calculator for your website, create various keyboard shortcuts that allow users to effortlessly navigate to other pages, play animations when others scroll down. Uh, since you can, be, can ch change your HTML and CSS elements with JavaScript, you can be very beneficial language to learn. So, it's a fast one. Best resources to learn web development languages. If you're looking to improve your knowledge, there are many fantastic resources. No matter which programming language you want to learn, there are free resources all over the internet, just like the Odin project. If you want to f focus primarily on front-end development, um, the most important languages to learn are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It has Bootstrap in here, but Bootstrap is just a collection of HTML, and CSS, and JavaScript. As for the back-end, you should consider languages like Python, Ruby, and PHP. Also, JavaScript is a very useful back-end language. Okay. 
looks like Code Academy is, this is just a pitch by Code Academy. And the conclusion, while it's possible to develop and maintain a website for your business without having any knowledge of coding via a strong content management system like WordPress or something like that, Wix, something like that. Having a basic knowledge of the, the more common programming languages will allow you to edit your current website or start building a new one without assistance. Overall, you have more control over your website looks, feels, and performs when you have some knowledge of these programming languages. All right. Now, additional resources. I did go through these. Um, this goes into a little bit greater detail. Um, what is the internet? A little bit of the stuff that we've already gone over. It goes, talks a little bit more about an, uh, the difference between a markup versus the, the other ones. So this is additional. And uh, yeah, I'd recommend checking it out. I think this actually shows you examples of it. And another thing is if you're really interested in learning um, the basics of uh, HTML and CSS, Free Code Camp has an excellent uh, curriculum, uh, HTML, that I can't recommend enough. And I have a whole series of videos where I go through the whole Free Code Camp curriculum. So I recommend Free Code Camp a lot, but I'm not going to go over there for now. And then this is a really great one. Uh, I'm actually going to read this. Uh, this is DevDocs, and it says this combines multiple API documentations in a fast, organized, and searchable interface. Here's what you need to know to start. Um, you don't have to use your mouse. You can open preferences to enable more docs for customize. We can make it light and dark, automatic, um, scrolling. You can change all that stuff. So this is really cool. Like If you want to look up just docs on Angular, wow. I actually did not know about this. It supports fuzzy search. You can search using the browser's address bar. DevDocs works offline. Oh, cool. I'm going to get this offline. It's free and open source. Nice. So I'm going to install all of these. Interesting. Each page is checked as a key value pair index database. The app also service workers, local storage. Yes, even offline, you can open a new tab and go to devdocs.io, and everything will work as if you were off online. Awesome. Okay, cool. And now I'm going to add this to my favorite. I don't even know how to do that with Braves. Bookmark. Bookmarks. Bookmark this tab. Command D. And choose another folder. We'll make this uh, make a new new folder. Dev tools. Cool. Cool. Now once that's installed, I should have access to it offline. That's neat. That's great to have all this documentation. Bootstrap documentation offline. Awesome. Cool. And let's see, what do HTML and CSS stand for? Now we're going to wrap it up with the knowledge check. HTML hypertext markup language and CSS is cascading style sheets. Between HTML and CSS, which would you use to, for putting paragraphs on te of text on a web page? HTML. Between HTML and CSS, which would you use for changing the font and color of a background of a color button? You could do it in HTML, but it will work better in CSS over the long run. What's the difference between HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? Well, there's huge differences. HTML just puts things onto a page. CSS kind of designs the way that those things on the page look. And JavaScript can basically do everything that those languages can do and much more, including building out whole web properties. Um, cool. So that's it for this one. And I hope you guys enjoy this. We'll mark it complete and move on to the next one. See you guys in the next video.